well. Today I thought I would do a review of the five Cara Morel lipsticks that have recently come out, just because they look absolutely incredible. It will also be in first impressions because I've only tried one of them before. So if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe because it really supports my channel. Also, if you would like to receive some amazing content where I am interviewing eight incredible ladies getting their top tips and tricks on how to glow from the inside out, then the link is in the description bar below. So let's get on with the video. So this is the new Karen Morel range, which came out a little bit ago, but I haven't got around to using them yet, um, apart from trying the Bordeaux Rouge color. And they are part of, it's kind of like a princess, I think it's Pretty by Princess um, range that they brought out. So I thought I would start off with, I don't really know, the lightest one, I guess, and then we can build up to the darkest one. They look like this. They're in gorgeous packaging, which really reminds me of Charlotte Tilbury um, and with the rose gold color. Oh, it's just lovely. So yeah, I thought I would try out this one first. It's This one is called the Crown Jewels and it's some gorgeous kind of bronzy color, which will go quite well with my look today, I think. So let's give this a whirl. As you know, they're all natural. So that is great. And uh, yeah, I'm not sure if this is gonna make my teeth look a bit yellow, but oh wow. Oh, this color is really cool. Let me just zoom you in a little bit. So that is the first lipstick. Oh wow, <laughs> it's really different. I just don't think it suits me, but it's a really cool lip color nonetheless. Um, so I feel like this would suit kind of olivey skin tones a little bit more, but it's really moisturizing, so that's great. So yeah, let's move on to the next one. So it's toss up between the Hort Boehm. Ooh, this is nice, but it looks kind of similar to the Crown Jewels, to be honest. And then this is the Blushing Rose. Ooh, that looks lovely, okay. Let's go for this one first, which is the Hort Boheme. And this is kind of a, um, it's a fairly bronzy color as well, but it's still nude. So yeah. So this is the color Hort Boheme. And I feel like this is just a slightly lighter version of the Crown Jewels. Um, which kind of suits my skin tone a little bit more. Um, and it's, it's really nice, actually. I really like that. But I'm really excited just to get on to the next one, which is the Blushing Rose, because it looks like an absolutely beautiful colour. But this one is really lovely. It feels slightly less hydrating than what the other one did. But I don't know whether that was because I just had a little bit of lip balm on underneath. So I'll pop a little bit more on and then um, move on to the Blushing Rose. Okay, woo! I'm excited to try this one, which is the Blushing Rose colour. This just looks like such a gorgeous pinky nude. So, yeah. Put it on before I even start, finish my sentence, didn't I? Oh yeah, I love that. Oh, that's such a nice colour. I feel like it will go with anything and everything. Let me zoom you in. It's so nice, isn't it? It's so pretty. It feels like, it feels quite light to be honest, but just a really nice color that will go with everything. So yes, oh, that's a definite favorite so far. Um, so this is the Blushing Rose number 23. And I feel like this lipstick would go with everything and it would suit every skin tone as well. Um, it's just so pretty. Oh, I love it. Yay. Okay, the next colour we are moving on to is the Fiery Ruby colour. Now this is like a, I would say a kind of darker brick red and yeah, kind of darker brick red so it's not bright, bright red. Good autumn colour. Oh, however, when you put it on, it is definitely fiery. This is where your application gets slightly more precise because you can't just like whack this on. Oh, I love this. 
Oh, I love it so much. It's such a fun color. So this color comes out a lot redder than what it looks on the lipstick. Um, it's a really gorgeous red, really nice. It's not, I don't feel like it's got that many blue undertones in it. So um, if you want something that's maybe halfway in between, then this is the lipstick to go for. It's so, so nice. I love it so much. Mm, fun. Okay, then we're gonna move on to the last one, which is Bordeaux Rouge. But let me take this off first. Okay, Bordeaux Rouge. I already know this is gorgeous and I think it's maybe in one of my other videos, but I can't really remember which one. Oh, I've got hair stuck to my face. So I've used this before, but it's really, really gorgeous. I think I just said that. Oh, actually, this isn't the darkest one. I think the rub fiery ruby, yeah, fiery ruby was the darkest or kind of brightest. Oh no, tell a lie. Oh yeah, I love this one as well. This is so, so nice. I really like it. Don't mind up here, I've got a spot that's just come out, so it's not me kind of just drawing on my face with the lipstick. But yeah, oh, we really love them. Um, I would love to know which one is your favorite. So leave a comment in the links, leave a comment in the links below. Does not make sense. I would love to know which one was your favorite so definitely let me know in the comments below but um yeah i really hope you enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe and if you would like access to my free glow summit which features some of the most incredible ladies being interviewed by myself to get their top tips and tricks on how to glow from the inside out then the link is in the description bar below thank you so much for watching and i will see you again on the next video